In this video, we will examine the Principal Component Analysis or PCA technique, an essential visualisation approach in data analysis and pre-processing. The aim of this video is to explain the theoretical side of PCA and to provide examples of its application. We will begin with a non-rigorous motivational example from multivariate data analysis in which we will attempt to extract some meaning from a 17-dimensional dataset. What we're going to do here is to first clarify the concept of variance with a straightforward example. Then we explore the PCA analysis as a practical guide, using a 17-dimensional dataset example, and finally implementing PCA using Python. To begin, let's explore a question related to a 17-dimensional dataset. Which country among the following observations or samples stands out from the rest? This dataset, which is known as the UK Food Consumption Dataset, has been covered in the previous lecture and video, and you're welcome to revisit that specific video for more details on it. In this example, we are going to assess whether PCA technique can reduce the dimensions or features of the dataset to emphasise how countries differ. In a simple definition, PCA works by focusing on variance, which is how much things change or differ in a dataset. In PCA, Variance is a critical aspect in understanding the data's variability and structure. The most important part of the data from a PCA perspective is capturing the components with the highest variance. PCA aims to reduce the dimensionality of the data by identifying the directions which is called principal components, along which the data varies the most. These principal components are ordered by the amount of variance they explain. The first principal component captures the highest variance in the data, followed by the second, third, and so on. So, in terms of variance, the most crucial part is identifying and retaining the principal components that explain the most variance as they represent the most significant and informative aspects of the data. In fact, the PCA technique highlights variation in data and can uncover significant patterns within a dataset. It's commonly employed to simplify data exploration and visualisation. Right, before we start learning about PCA, let's first understand what variance means using a simple example. Let's assume that we have measured the height of the following dogs in millimetres. We aim to do a simple analysis and calculate the average, standard deviation, and variance of the height variable within this small population of dogs. Right. Variance, which is a crucial metric, shows us how much the heights of these five dogs differ from their average height. To calculate it, we first find the average height of these dogs. Then, for each dog's height, we measure how far it is from this average, square that difference, add up all these squared differences, and find their average. This gives us the variance, which reveals the spread or difference in these heights from the average. Now the standard deviation is a related measure that helps us understand the typical distance between each dog's height and the average height. It's found by taking the square root of the variance. Essentially, the standard deviation gives us a more easily interpretable measure of how much the individual heights vary from the average. Therefore, by using the standard deviation, we have a standard way of knowing what is normal and what is extra large or extra small. Here, there are four examples of normal distributions with similar means and different variances. A larger variance means that, on average, the data values are further away from their mean. As you can see here, the histograms become wider as the variances increase. 